Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to pass a play integrity test on any custom ROM. So regarding the play integrity test, we'll have to pass the device integrity and the basic integrity. You will not be able to pass the strong integrity because for that, we require a log bootloader which is currently not possible on a custom ROM. So you just have to pass the first two tests and then you will be able to use any banking and payment app of your choice without any issues. So on that note, let's get started. I'll show you two methods. The first one is using a Magis module. This is quite an easy method, but on the flip side, it's an open source module. So Google is able to get hold of this module, verify the build prop and fingerprint, and it then patches that module. So the developer once again have to re release a new build of this module. And this cat and mouse game is going on for ages. But thankfully, the developer always updates its module with a new build and a new fingerprint. So as of now, we have a working fingerprint. But if in the near future, this module stops working, then I'll also show you one more method using which we could manually make a module or rather we could manually make a build prop file and then we'll make a JSON file using that. And then we will upload that JSON file onto our phone and pass the test. So first off, we will try the automatic approach via the module and then we will go for the manual approach using the pixel flasher tool. So with that said, currently I'm using a custom ROM. It's the Bliss ROM, but the steps are applicable across all the custom ROM and across all the Android versions. Moreover, by default, if you launch the app, for, I'm using a play integrity API checker app. So as you could see currently, I am only passing the basic integrity test and I'm failing the device integrity. So to pass both this test, you will have to root, root your phone via matches. This is extremely important. If you don't root your phone, then you will not be able to carry out any of this task. And as soon as you root your phone, you will even fail the basic test. That is not a cause of concern. And that is just for the temporary time frame. Once we carry out the tweak, you will then be able to pass the first and second test. So I am again repeating by default on a custom ROM which is not rooted, you should or you might pass the basic test, but we will not be able to carry out the rest of the tweak. So you will have to root your phone and as soon as you do a root, you will even fail the basic test. That is not a cause of concern. We will then implement our fix and after implementing our fix, we will be able to pass the first and second fix and then you will be able to use the banking and payment app of which wise. So with that said, Let's get started. So first of all, you'll have to root your phone via matches. So I am using a custom ROM. The steps are applicable across all the custom ROMs. It's the same step. There are quite a few methods. I'll be using the most easiest method, which is side loading the matches zip file via the custom recovery, which comes inbuilt with the custom ROM. So first and foremost, you will have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging on your phone as well. So go to settings next menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go back, go to system developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. So with this debugging mode is enabled and on some phones, you will have to also choose file transfer in case of USB. Mostly this is required for OnePlus phone. So make sure to choose file transfer as well, apart from enabling USB debugging. So once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. Once you're getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So next up, you will now have to boot your phone to the recovery mode. But before that, let's get hold of the Magis file. So download the Magis APK from my guide. At the time of recording, the latest build is version 26.4. So download the Magis APK file from here. In my case, I, I already have it. And once you have got the APK file, you will have to do a rename it to zip file simply. Right click on it and you will have to change its extension to zip. And you will get a prompt on your PC. Click on yes. So let me show you if this is the Magis file. So what you have to do is simply, let me show you simply change its extension to zip and you will get a prompt. So click on yes. And with this, we have got the matches zip file as well. So make sure you have both the APK and zip. 
the apk will be downloaded from my guide as you could see from here it will take you to the direct download link official link from the github page so get hold of the apk and apart from that you will also have to rename the apk and get the zip file once you have got both the apk and zip file let's now move ahead with the next step so now you will have to first and foremost transfer the magic zip file inside the platform tool folder on your pc on the other hand transfer the magic apk file onto your phone so let me verify that so this is the magic apk file onto my phone and this is the magic zip file in the platform tool folder once you have done the transfer we could now boot our phone to the recovery mode for that type in adb reboot recovery and hit enter and your phone will now boot to the aosp recovery depending on the custom rom that you are using this screen might vary in my case i'm using a blitz rom so this rom has its own aosp recovery you will be able to see in just a minute so let's just wait and as you could see it's we announced the recovery so the screen the options will be same across all the aosp recovery now you have to go to install update and select adb side load with this your phone is now in the side load mode let's verify the same so type in adb devices and make sure you are getting the side load keyword once you are getting this keyword you will now have to side load the magic zip file so let's get that job done as well type in adb side load and the name of the file which in my case is magis.zip and hit enter the mag you will now get a prompt on your phone signature verification failed installed anyway tap on yes and the magic zip file will now be installed onto your phone and the process will only take a few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and once that is done you could then reboot your phone to the os and with this the side loading is done so now tap on reboot to system and your phone will now reboot to os after that we will now have to install the magic apk file as well because as of now only the magic zip has been installed in the back end in the front end we don't have any ui to interact with the app so we will now have to install the magic apk file as well and that is the reason why we have transferred the apk file onto our phone in the first place so let's just wait for a phone to boot up and then we'll install the magic apk file while installing the magic app you will get the option to update the app and not install the app this is because the app is already installed in the back end so let me show you if i now install the magic app you could see that we are getting the so it's getting an install option let me just verify once so you will now get a prompt so as you could see if the app does not open in the first instance that's not an issue simply wait for a few seconds and then again install the magic app and this time you should get the update option once you get the update option tap on update then tap on open and you will now get a prompt that it requires some additional setup so tap on okay and then you will have to wait for 5 seconds the phone will automatically reboot to the os so let's just wait for the time frame in some cases the phone might not reboot to the os so if that happens with you as well then you could do a direct install at that stage itself but in my case my phone had to reboot to the os and now that it will reboot to the os i will now have to do a direct install but if in your case your phone does not auto reboot to the os then you could directly do a direct install on your phone i'll show you how to do that as well so let's just wait for a phone to boot up and let's now proceed ahead so now launch the magic app and you will get one more prompt so tap on okay and now you will have to select direct install and now tap on let's go magic will now patch and flash the file and once that is done tap on reboot so in my case as you might have noticed i had to do a reboot two times in some phones only a one time reboot is required so after you side load the magic zip file you just have to install the app and directly do a direct install there is no need for a subsequent reboot but in my case i had to do a reboot in the middle as well that's not a cause of any concern so let's just wait for a phone to boot up and then we'll verify the route and proceed ahead with the next step so our phone has now booted to the os let me once launch the magic app and then check out the result so this time around magic has been installed so as i have told you if you now perform a check then as of now you, all the three tests might fail that is not a cause of any concern we will now be passing the first and second test and i am again repeating you you cannot pass the third test 
because that requires a log bootloader. So our only aim is to pass the first and second test and then you will be able to use the banking and payment type of your choice. So let's now get started with the process. So first off we will be doing using the module. So what you have to do is launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon and enable the toggle next to Zydesk. It will ask you to do a reboot. We will not do a reboot now, we will do a reboot after flashing a module. So let's move ahead with the next step. Now you will have to hide the Magisk app. So just tap on hide the Magisk app and give it some other name. So let me rename it to Dwidwin and tap on OK. It will now hide the Magisk app and rename it to Dwidwin in my case. It could take up to around 5 seconds. So if it asks for a shortcut to home screen, it's completely optional. I don't want a shortcut. So in my case, the Magisk app has been renamed to Dwidwin and from now onwards, I will use the Dwidwin app and the app icon will also have been gone. Let me show you as you could see. It's a Dwidwin app and there is no app icon for Magisk as well. And this is the Magisk app from now onwards in my case. So once that is done, you will now have to flash the latest version of Play Integrity module from GitHub. Please make sure that it's the latest build. The older build will not work on your phone. So go to the GitHub link and then go to the release section and download the zip file from here and transfer the zip file onto your phone. Once you have got the zip file, let's now flash the module onto our phone. So go to the module section, tap on install from storage, then select that module. So this is the module, tap on OK. It will now be flashed. Once the flashing is done, you could now do a reboot and upon the reboot, the module will be activated and the Zygis will be enabled as well. So we could then move ahead with the next step. So let's just wait for our phone to reboot and then we'll proceed ahead. Do keep in mind that while carrying out this method, in some cases your phone might take up some additional time to boot up. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So it's just a one time delay while carrying out the setup process. It will not be take that much longer next time onwards. So our phone has now booted. So once again, you will have to launch the Magisk app, which you might have renamed by now. So in my case, it's the Droidwin app. Now type on the settings icon and enable that. First off, verify that the Zygisk is shown as yes, as you could see in my case as well. If that's well and good, also verify that the module is enabled. Now go to the settings icon and now you will have to enable the toggle next to enforce deny list then tap on configure deny list and now you will have to hide these three apps these four apps the fourth app the google play product service is only there on some custom rom so if it's there in your rom then you will have to hide this as well and these three apps are there across all the roms so let's now hide these apps so now tap on the overflow icon and select show system apps so let me first hide it from the google play service so select the play service and expand it and enable the toggle next to all the services. Likewise, do the same for Google Play Store as well. Then we have the Google services framework. So just a minute and enable it as well. In my case, I don't have the Google Play Protect service. If it's there in your case, then make sure to enable it as well. So as you could see, it's not there in my case. Once you have enabled the toggle next to all these three apps or four apps, you will now have to remove their data as well and apart from that one more thing you will also have to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice whether it's the google pay netflix or whatever app you want to hide the root from make sure to do so right away simply search that app name and enable the toggle next to that app as well once that is done you will now have to remove the data of all those apps from which you have just hide the root so let's do that as well so go to settings menu apps show all apps tap on the overflow icon and select show system so first off, it's the place service. So let's select that, go to storage and cache, clear storage, delete, then go back. And after that, we have the play store. So go there, storage and cache, clear storage, delete, then the Google service framework. So it's the services framework. So let's select that as well. Then go to storage and cache, clear storage, delete. If you had the play product service, remove its data as well. And after that, remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice. Once that is done, you will now have to reboot your phone. This restart is compulsory. So please do a restart. And upon a restart, we will then verify the result. So let's just wait for the time frame. And hopefully our phone should now pass the 
plain integrity test. So we'll verify that. And if it's not passing, then that signifies that the Google has passed the module and you will either have to wait for a few days for the developer to re release a new build or you could use the manual method, which I will discuss after this method. So let's first verify the result. For that, you can install the app known as Play Integrity Checker from Play Store. Once installed, just tap on check. And if you're getting this error message, just tap on check once again. And let's verify the results. So as you could see, we are now passing the device integrity and basic integrity. Likewise, our phone is rooted as well as you could verify from here. So we have obtained root and we are passing the required test as well. And you could now easily use any banking and payment app of your choice without any issues. However, if you are not able to pass the test, then you will have to get this job done manually. So let's proceed ahead with the next step. For the next step, I will have to undo all the tasks. Just I will be keeping root, but I will remove the modules and all the other stuff that I have done because now I'll have to fail all the tests. So let me do so. Okay, one more thing. Let me also restore the original magisk app. So I am now restoring the magisk app and removing the module. Once that is done, I will just keep the root because the root is required. So the module is gone and let me now restart my phone. So let's wait for the time frame. And while my phone is restarting, I'll now show you the pixel flash method as well. There's also a manual method. What I will do now is combine both these methods into one. And then I'll show you just to save you time. So let's now proceed ahead with the next method of using the pixel flasher tool. So let me open this guide. In the meantime, our phone is loading up. Let me close the rest of the stuff. So again, our ultimate aim. So let me first show you the magisk app is there and we are still rooted. Just a minute, we are rooted. And as of now, we should be failing all the three tests because we are rooted. And yes, that is the case. So again, our ultimate aim will be to pass the first and second test. I am repeating once again, we will not be able to pass the third test because that requires a log bootloader. So with that said, let's get started. So first off, you will either have to get hold of a custom build prop or fingerprint file. So for that, you will have to keep a couple of things in mind. You will have to download the firmware from that phone, which is quite least popular and not known by many. For the for instance, any Chinese phone or the likes of Vivo and Oppo don't use the Asus phone because just recently Google has patched all the fingerprint from Asus as well. Apart from that, the likes of Pixel, Samsung, Xiaomi are obviously being patched by Google. So don't use their fingerprint as well. You should use the fingerprint of a device which is very least popular among the masses. So pick that up and it should have at least Android 6 and at the very max Android 9 will be sufficient. Don't go for higher Android OS version. And apart from that, some other things to keep in mind that the data that we require are the product device manufacturer brand model, fingerprints, security patch and first API level. All these data are inside the firmware itself. Inside the firmware, you will have to extract the build prop, the product and the vendor prop. You will just have to open these files. And I have given the location of these files as well in the Build prop could be found at system, system build prop or system build prop. Likewise, the product can be found at product build prop and all the product acceptable build prop and the vendor could be found at this location. So inside the firmware, extract the firmware and open this file via Notepad++ or any other text editor app. Once you have opened this file, you will have to get hold of this information. The following values are compulsory product manufacturer, brand, fingerprint, security patch. And please make sure to maintain the exact same syntax as shown here. If you don't know the syntax, if there is any spaces in between, then the file will not work. So let, let me show you, for instance, this is a website, JSON validator. So what you have to do is simply, you could paste the command here and hit the format button and it will format the file for you if there is something wrong with the file. So let me just show you. So hit the format button and it will format it for you if there is something wrong with the file. And this is the correct version. Likewise, you could also do the validate and validation successful. 
the input is valid json so you may again let me show you you could just paste your command over here and tap on validate and it says the input valid is valid json if it's not valid then simply hit the validate button then simply hit the format button and it will do a format and validate and give you the right json format file so for instance if there is a space over here let me show you and if i hit the format button it will remove the space and then you may validate the file and the valid as you could see once the valid validation is complete you have now a json file so you will now have to copy this file sorry copy these value so these six or rather these eight values are compulsory or in this case you could see there are a couple of other values these are optional values but these values are compulsory once you have got hold of all these value what you have to do is simply copy them and then you have to make a new notepad text file so right click on it and select new text document and paste it exactly like that so let's paste it and then go to file save as all types and then you have to name it as custom.pif.json and hit enter and upon saving the file you will get something like this custom pif json you will get this file so with this we will now have to use this file so this is our own made custom pif json file and we could not proceed ahead so if you want you you may make your own json file or you could also automate this process i'll show you that that as well but if you are taking a manual approach then in the manual approach once you have made your own json file after doing the research you will then have to flash the module you could either use the fork of the original module or the original module the original module is the one which we had just used it is from the chitoman and we had just flashed that in the initial process let's now use the fork of the original module so if you are using the fork of the original module then you will have to name the file as custom.pif.json on the other hand if you are using the original module then you will have to rename the file as pif.json in my case i am using the fork so i have done the rename to custom.pif.json so make sure to rename the file accordingly and then download the module accordingly so since i am using the fork of the original module i will now download this module from here it's a plain negative fork so i might already be have this module just a minute let me get hold of this module so this is the fork of the module you will now have to transfer this module onto your phone you could use any of these two module in my case i'm using the fork just to show you that both these modules are working so let me select file transfer and now transfer this fork onto my phone so regarding the json value you will have to keep on trying until you find the right value so as of now this value has already been patched so there is no need to try out this value you will have to find a different firmware again i'm repeating use that phone which is least popular and not known to many likewise use the one which has android 6 till android 9 at the very max and the first api level is extremely important all these values are extremely important if you want you may also add some additional information and also keep in mind the following things for instance as you could see each of these are inside the double quotes likewise each of these line ends with a comma but the last line does not end with a comma so this is the valid json format and it ends starts and ends with a curly bracket so keep the exact same thing in mind just the value should be different depending on the phone that you have got so once you have got the phone and the custom json value you will now have to transfer the value onto your file onto your phone so let's transfer this file as well so as of now we have transferred the play integrated fox module fork module as well as the custom pif json so again i am repeating if you are if you are using the original module then rename the file to pif.json on the other hand if you are using the fork then rename it to custom pif json so i am using the fork so i have done this rename so now what you have to do is simply flash the module via magis so go to magis module install from storage and let's now flash the fork of this module and tap on okay and it's flashed so tap on reboot 
So let's just wait for a few seconds and after that we will move ahead with the next step. In my case, the custom JSON file that I am using passes the plain integrity test. So in my case, I will be passing the test. But if in your case you are failing the test, then you will have to use a different firmware and a different build prop file. And you will have to keep on repeating this step until and unless you pass the test. So again, I am repeating the values that I have used in my custom PI of JSON file. They are passing the test. So in my case, I should pass the test. I will show you, show you the value as well in the end of this video. But first, let's proceed ahead and check out the results. So as of now, we have flashed the module. Once you have flashed the module and transfer the file as well, you will now have to transfer the file to the location. Now the location also varies. If you are using the osmosis, then you will have to transfer the file over here. The osmosis one is the fork of the original module, whereas the original module is given by tried Chitroman, in that case, you will have to transfer the file to this location. Since I'm using the fork, I'll have to transfer my file to this location. So let me do that as well. So for that, you will have to download and install a root supported file manager app. For that, you could use the solid file manager app. So let's use the solid file manager. Just a minute. I would be having that app as well. Let me transfer it onto my phone. And I will then transfer the JSON file to that location. So I have got the file. Let me install it. This is the solid file manager app. Let's install it, launch it, and then give it the access to the storage. So tap on done and grant it the storage access. Then go back. Now tap on the hamburger menu and select root and then tap on grant. So with this, it has got the root access. And now, first and foremost, verify that you have transferred the custom PIF JSON file. As you could see, this is the file. In my case, I've done the transfer in the internal storage. And so, in my case, I will have to do the transfer to the data ADB modules, plain integrity fix directory. Because I'm using the fork, if you're using the original one, then you have to do the transfer to this directory. So, for making a transfer, first off, you have to enable auto rotate. So, enable it. And now, Let's do the rotation and from here, let's first access the or rather copy the custom PIF JSON file from internal storage. Let me copy it and then go to the root directory from the second menu. So now I am in the root directory and it's the data ADB modules play integrity fix and tap on the paste icon. It will then tap on allow and just refresh it once and you should have the custom PIF JSON. So in my case, I have got the custom PIF JSON file inside the directory. Once you have made the transfer, you will have to do a restart. So this restart is compulsory. Let me do a reboot and then we'll verify the result. If you are still failing the test, then as I have told you, you will then have to use a, a different fingerprint and a different firmware and do so until and unless you pass the test. I'll also show you a fingerprint that passes the test at the end of the video. So if nothing else work out, you may use my build profile as well. I will share that with you as well. But let's first verify the, if we pass the test or not. So let me first verify it. For that, let's now launch the app and tap on the check button. So the build prop that I am using is able to pass the test. As you could see, it's passing the test quite easily. So with this, we have achieved success. But if in your case, you are still failing the test, then you could make use of the Pixel Flasher tool. And in that case, let me show you here what you have to do. So first and foremost, download the Pixel Flasher tool from GitHub and then extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. It's just a EXT file. Let me show you. It should be somewhere here itself. Just a minute. So this is the Pixel Flasher tool. It's just a EXT file. So launch it and you will now get a magic prompt. So tap on grant. Okay, so skip that as of now. Simply launch the Pixel Flasher app and first and foremost, click on the browse button. Then navigate to the Android SDK platform tools on your PC and then select the platform tools folder and click on select folder. Once that is done, you will have to click on the scan. You will have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So do so and then click on the scan button and your phone should now be listed here. 
select your phone from here once that is done you will now have to go to the magisk tab and from here you will have to select the install bif module in my case i already have the module in your case if the module will not be installed then simply select the module from here and click on the ok button once you hit the ok button the module will automatically be installed onto your phone so in my case i already have the module installed so let me do one thing let me remove this module and restart the process so currently as you could see i am passing the test so let me do one thing as of now let me simply remove this module from here and then restart my phone so as to give or and one more thing let me also remove the pif file from my phone just a minute let me remove the pif file as well so data adb modules and this is the file using which i was passing the test so let me remove this as well so i have removed the custom pif file as well likewise i have also removed the module from my phone and let me now restart my phone and upon a restart i should be failing both the test so i will show you all the steps from the scratch just give me a minute and let my phone restart and then we will move ahead with the step by step process so it will take a few seconds and then we will move ahead with the next step so in the meantime let's relaunch the pixel flasher tool from here and wait for a few seconds so launch the tool and then hit the browse button next to the adb and make sure you to navigate to the platform tools directory and it's now loaded likewise hit the enable usb debugging and then hit the scan button so with this let me scan it once again your phone should now be listed here once that is done go to magisk and now click on the install pif module and you will now have to choose so as of now we are using the osmosis play integrity fork so select this and it will now be installed onto your phone it will take a few seconds for that to happen so let's just wait and once that is done select it and click on ok and the module should now be installed so let's go to the module section as you could see it's installed but now we will have to activate it so click on reboot system from here and your phone will now automatically reboot to the os once it's boot up the module will be activated and then we could move ahead with the next step so let's just wait for a few seconds so as of now as i have told you i have removed the module as well and i had also removed the custom pif file from my phone as well i am doing everything from scratch so first off i have installed the module you could use either of the two modules as of now i am using the osmosis play integrity fork module so depending on the module we will be using the file so with this the module is now up and running and you could now move ahead with the next step so now what you have to do is go to the pif manager and from here as you could see currently it's all blank you will have to click on process build or prop and if you have your own build prop file then you will have to upload those file over here right now so for instance as i have shown you over here in the manual method since we have made our own build prop file so now what you have to do is is now you have to upload this file onto your phone so let me show you the order as well so for uploading you will have to first upload the build prop system build prop then system prop product prop it's not compulsory that you should have all the file even if you have only two file then only upload the two files only but the order should be the same as shown here so if you are doing a manual method then simply click on process build prop and upload the file and then click on create pif json on the other hand if you are using a manual method sorry if you are using the automatic method such as the case with in our case since we don't have any working build prop file so in that case you just have to click on play integrity or you just have to click on get the freeman random pif and you will now get a random json file so hit the paste icon next to it and it will be pasted in the active pif but as of now we are getting a red warning sign so this signifies that the active pif is not the same as the one which is in our phone so you will now have to hit the create pif json file and with this the json file is same on our phone as well as in the active pif section and the warning sign is now removed so now we will have to verify the result 
for that install the play integrated check app from play store and likewise choose the same app from here and then click on play integrity check and it will now automatically launch the app and do the check on your phone as you can see from here so it's doing a check and as of now you could see as you could see we are failing the test so this fingerprint has been has been passed by google and is no longer working so we'll have to use a different fingerprint so again click on get the female random pif then click on the paste icon update pif json and click on play integrity check and let's perform a second test so again we are filling this test as you could see so you will have to carry on this task until and unless you get the pass in the first and second method until and unless you are passing the test you will have to carry on this task each and every time it could take even up to a day until you get the right fingerprint so just click on the get free man then hit the paste icon and update pif json and play integrity check and keep on doing the check until you are able to achieve success so as you could see i have just got a phone which passes the test so this is the test so make sure to save it so in my case i got the value i'll also recommend you to save this value somewhere on your phone so or rather on your pc as well so let me save this value on my pc and likewise hit the heart icon and then give it a name so let me rename it to samsung and click on ok and we have saved this so with this we have got a new json file which is passing the test and now you don't have to do anything from now onwards your phone will remain in the passing stage and we have got a fingerprint test in which we are passing the test you could also verify the same using any other app you could install these app from the play store and then do a check as well as of now i'm just using the plain integrity api checker so let me check once again and show you we are passing the first and second test so it's just a hit and trial method so carry out this task and do so until you achieve success regarding this i am also maintaining a new guide in which i have listed out all the build prop file which are passing this test so this is my guide so as of now i only had the phone from the blue this is a blue g8 phone let me show you this is the blue g8 phone and th this is the json file which passes the fingerprint which passes the both the tests but now i have got one more phone which is the samsung phone so i'll also update this guide with the samsung phone as well and i will keep on regularly updating this guide with more and more values as soon as they are live so make sure to keep a tab on that you could use these values as follows you could either copy it and make a json file and transfer the json file onto your phone as i've shown you over here let me show you as i've shown you in the manual steps you could either transfer the json file onto your phone by making a json file using this value and then transfer the file onto your phone or you could simply copy this value and then let me show you copy this value open the tool and in the tool what you could do is close this window and again go to pif manager and now paste the value for example this time we are using the blue value so paste the value here then click on update pif json then click on play integrity check and you will now pass the test as well so you could do any of these two tasks you could either paste the value here or you could simply manually push the json file onto your phone and i will be updating this guide with more and more values as soon as i get hold of them so i will now add the samsung value as well so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching